here's how I use my nebulizer. With COPD, it's important to get this stuff down underneath as far down in your lungs as you can get it. So I breathe out as all that I can breathe out, as hard as I can. And then inhale deeply. I try to sit up straight in my chair and get it all the way down in the bottom of my lungs. After the trachea surgery, my trach don't line up straight. I had to do it twice because the first time they botched it up. <clears throat> you know, even a carpenter knows you measure twice and cut once. Damn doctors, they cut twice and ask once. So you get to get cut twice. So I got two trach surgeries in a month. And it still ain't right. <laughs> The other thing is there's all these muscles that are atrophying down here that they chop and never tie back together. Just a bunch of lazy bastards. You should put these back together. So now you got... You had all that loose skin down there laying right on your voice box and you're trying to breathe through that mess. And then the insurance don't want to pay for the flow van anymore. Isn't that neat? They just told me and my doctors, hell with you. We're not giving it to you no more. No rhyme or reason. I'm using the albuterol that I had left over. Every time I'd get it, I'd have a little bit left over and I kept keeping it. And I got about eight or 10 boxes over the period of three or four years and I keep rotating my stock. <coughs> October of 2021 is when that one expires. So I'm good. I'm 
never throw your meds away. You never know when the jerks are going to change you. They don't give a shit about your health. They want to make money. So, save your meds. You never know when you're going to need them, and they're good for a couple of years afterwards. So, I really don't know how the insurance guys can justify that. They're, it's ignorant. You pay all this money in for insurance. They paid five hundred thousand dollars to the health, to the hospitals, to do the surgery. And then they're going to bitch about a five hundred dollar a month flow vent nebulizer, whatever. Why well, they want me to go back in the hospital again? Because I can't breathe. <laughs> Pay another five hundred thousand, I guess, huh? I guess they like paying the big money, but not the little ones. If they can mess you up, they will. Trust me, and they do it regularly. That's why I won't let them in my house. I don't allow them to come in and negotiate with me or talk to me or advise me. I don't care what they say. They're not my doctor, and between me and my doctor, that's all I need. I don't want the insurance people in my house. I don't want them changing things because usually that means they're taking stuff away from you, by the way, for cost containment. And you're out and you get to suffer because they didn't want to pay anymore. It's really ignorant. I mean, they'll pay $500,000 to the doctors in the hospitals and then this $500 a month which is six grand a year into 500,000. Let's see, how many times does that go in there? Six into 500 is uh, 80, 80 some years of paying for that for the hospital visit. And then they want to cut me off. So, you know, more power to them, but you know what? They're going to pay for it in the end. If I don't die, they have to put me through another batch of surgeries and take care of me again because I can't breathe. <laughs> I've been in to see the ear, nose, and throat guy about three times, and he can't figure it out, but nobody seems to be able to figure it out, and they say I got COPD, so there's, maybe there's nothing they can figure out. I don't really know. This nebulizer is done, by the way not smoking anymore <coughs> so you've seen a big clump of stuff come out earlier and it's working and now I can breathe much better for a while I got to take those twice or three times a day on a bad day four times so they don't last very long there's 25 of them in a box you figure it out <coughs> 